We are back in the shop of the NSX. Uh, came back from Proto Machine. They did an awesome job uh, basically relocating and fabricating everything. A little bit of a closer look at the manifold and what they did. So they redid the manifold, bottom mounted it. Uh, obviously the intercooler has been relocated. So the intercooler pipe now goes down kind of where I originally wanted it. <clears throat> and it's opened up all this space up here. Uh, to make the car easier to work on. One of the biggest problems was that the car was really tough to work on. Uh, we had a string of issues right before Superlap where the engine had to come out like three or four times and it took a lot longer than I wanted, like probably three times as long. And it was because of how much stuff was just packed into the engine bay. So all of that's been removed and it's kind of a lot cleaner in here. I still need to go through and clean up a couple things, but overall much better. Uh, a few things had to be relocated as well. So that's what I've been doing now. The turbo is now, you kind of see it down here. So I'll kind of climb under here and take a look. So the turbo is now bottom mounted. Uh, this is where most NSX turbos go, like when the, on all the C-Series cars, just because it's the only place to put it. Uh, the Sidewinder was easier before because without anything custom, that was kind of just the place to put it. So waste case just off to the side. Titanium exhaust and dump pipe that the, the guys at Proto Machine, Riley kind of fabbed up. Uh, beautiful piece. They together weigh uh, just over three pounds. Uh, part of the difficulty in doing this though was the oil drain. So I've had to add a scavenge pump there and then trying to position it so it's as low as possible and kind of the lines are as short as possible were, was a bit of a challenge trying to figure out where to do it. So I made this plate right here. Uh, just put it on our little like CNC that we have, cut it out and got that there. So this is nice and secure there. Uh, I still need to do the wiring. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much done. The intercooler has been moved to the bottom as well. It, uh, one of the big goals is to bring the weight as low as possible. Having it this far back isn't ideal, but with the way that the engine is in the NSX with it being transverse, you, you don't have too many options. So this is kind of the lesser of two evils to put it there. Uh, keeps the weight low, even if it is far out, but a bit better there and keeps the engine bay clean. If I pull the engine out, uh, that basically just disconnect the manifold or even kind of get it out of the way. It doesn't even need to come all the way out but that's good there. Um, finished up some of the turbo uh, oil, the oil feed, the coolant, and the return is all, all done. Uh, the wastegate's been plumbed. The fuel pump used to go basically where the turbo went. So now that's been put here in the trunk with a couple of bulkhead fittings. So the bulkhead fittings send it back to almost the original location of where it was. The pump's just been relocated here, probably like a hard line uh, and finalize that a little bit more later and then ran the uh, power uh, through the trunk. And over here, uh, just changed the carbon plate that the uh, fuel pressure regulator and the uh, boost, the four point uh, boost solenoid goes. And I think that's pretty much it on this end. Uh, I had to relocate some of the the wiring for the oxygen sensors, uh, but nothing too wild, fairly straightforward there. Um, pretty much all that's left is to get the throttle body sorted. Um, the car had B-series uh, TPS and MAP sensor before because of the 90 mil throttle body, but that's going to 90 mil sucked. So I removed that, uh, it was sticking and way too large. There was like no, uh, no real modulation, so that was kind of a problem on track. And then the sticking sucked uh, on traffic, or in traffic, and then also while on track. It was kind of annoying. I would notice that I'd go to brake and the car would still basically be trying to accelerate, so that was bad. Uh, they're notorious for that. And I could have tried to fix the sticking, but since it was too large anyway, we just removed it and put something else on. So that's kind of the last thing I have to do is uh, put a new map sensor connector and a new throttle position sensor connector, and then plumb the intercooler lines and the car's pretty much good to go. So everything else has been sorted and hopefully have this running soon. Uh, and this guy has also been making a comeback. Finally got the, uh, the cage painted. So this was done also by Mike uh, Burroughs from Stance Works and Proto Machine. So he did this for me a while ago and it's unfortunately just been sitting, but now it's pretty much ready. Uh, gonna do that, have some aero parts that are going on like I made this hood for it uh, a while back. I uh, just didn't have a chance to 
get it painted or mounted. So I need to finish up a few things on it, clean it up and send it to the body shop. Uh, fresh coil rad going in. Uh, the other one was still perfectly fine I mean, it lasted years, but uh, I had a spare one. So I'm gonna keep the old one as a spare. Uh, put a new splitter on it. And then also put a new RS Future wing on it. Uh, have some wings over here. So I'll grab this, but uh, sets down. A little dust that's been sitting, but yeah. Uh, put that on the back of it. Um, all the mounts and everything are at powder coating right now for the full production run. So I think there are about like 10 wings going out in the next couple of weeks. So that'll be really cool and exciting. So stoked about that and hopefully go do some testing. So overall, really good. If you are at Week Fest on Sunday, uh, I will be there in the VTech Club booth with Christian. He's bringing his EK out uh, and have some fun and hang out. I haven't been to a car show in a while, which kind of bums me out because I actually really enjoy car shows. So it'll be cool. I've been trying to get this thing out to something for a while and finally gonna do it. So if you're at Week Fest, come say hello. Otherwise, the next thing for these two cars will be hopefully some on-track testing. This M3, pretty much all it needs left is a windshield and uh, put the arrow on and a steering rack, which I have, so that's good. And actually, this thing is going to get pulled out and gonna do some work on it. Unfortunately, it is probably going to be leaving. Uh, sad news, but uh, get it fixed, a couple of little things, uh, and then get it out of here, and then get that thing out of here too. Uh, finally got Louis CRV ready to go, so. Yeah, if you're at Week Fest, see you there.